Hey, this is Jared Dees at TheReligionTeacher.com, and you may have seen a symbol refer, often called the Jesus fish. It looks like this. Uh, very simple picture of a fish on the back of cars as a bumper sticker. I've got mine here, uh, my Jesus fish bumper sticker. I've also got here a Christmas ornament, a Jesus Christmas ornament. You can see there are some letters in Greek printed in the middle of this symbol because in reality, the Jesus fish symbol is an acronym in Greek. This is a very ancient symbol that early Christians used in the Roman Empire to avoid persecution. It was illegal to be a Christian, to be worshiping the gods other than the Roman gods, and because of that, Christians had to worship in secret. So they had to use artwork, symbols, to be able to communicate truths and to be able to talk with other Christians about the faith that didn't make it clear that they were practicing Christians. And one of those symbols was the Jesus fish. And the words in Greek spell out a phrase that in English we would say, I, an I is like a J in Greek. So the first two words are probably pretty obvious, Jesus. In Christ. So the Jesus fish helps us remember that Jesus Christ, and what about Jesus Christ do we want to communicate with this symbol? TH, the first two letters of the Greek word for God, Theos, God. Y, or often an H sound, would spell the word Heos, which is Son. And then the last one, Soter, S O T E R, means savior. So the Jesus fish is actually a phrase, Jesus Christ, Son of God, Savior. That's the meaning of the symbol. There are certainly biblical stories about fish in the Bible, but really this or the origin of this symbol is meant to express Jesus. And what about Jesus? He's the Son of God. He's our Savior. That's what that symbol means in the back of bumper stickers of cars. That's what that symbol has meant for hundreds and hundreds of years, especially during that time of Christian persecution in the Roman Empire. So go make disciples. God bless.